Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Wally. My guest this segment, I want to welcome back Tom Springer from Springer Electric. Tom, welcome back to the show. Thank you. So, all things electric, man, the electric market business stuff in this state is just nuts. Mm-hmm. You know, PG&E, you know, they got all sorts of stuff going on. They may or may not be with us at some point in time, but it definitely their electricity is not with us at some points in time. And being a victim of that or a, a benefit, mm-hmm. you know, having experienced that, yeah, you know, maybe we're looking for stuff to, to deal with that. And, and you were telling me about some of these things. What's going on, Tom? Well, a lot of exciting stuff in the industry. We have um, new battery backup options come, that are out now for solar. Uh, since PG&E announced that they would be shutting off power during high wind times mm-hmm. uh, for the fire dangers, right? So that created a whole surge for the backup market, mm-hmm. and we've experienced it already. At least where I am, we're, we're located in Coors Gold, so we have a little more blackouts than in Fresno, Clovis. I'm I'm a little bit higher up the hill than you, and just yeah. uh, what last week or about a week and a half ago, yeah, we had a couple days. Yeah, uh, high winds, no electricity. Yeah, it's no fun unless you are prepared in advance. And there's things we can do now, isn't there? Oh, yeah. So So we have the traditional um, approach, which is generators. Uh So we're Generac, authorized dealers, certified installers, and certified service techs. That that Generac, exactly Uh what is that and how does that work? Well, the Generac is kind of a a high-end, it's the highest-end home generator system. So it's very automated. Mm -hmm. And they're so automated now, they're connected to Wi-Fi. So you have an app, just like we have for our solar customers, where we have an app where we can can see the health of the system, Uh make sure everything's going. Same thing with generators, with Generac. Yeah, Man, I am so old school on this stuff. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, they're all connected to Wi-Fi. It's really, and, it's cool. And like, you know, power goes out and mm-hmm. they come on. Oh, automatic transfer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And uh, they're, what, they're like uh, propane or? Yeah, what, is, 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 in, in our area, it's a lot of propane. Yeah. Around here, we would use natural gas. Okay, natural gas. Which is nice. In Fresno, in Fresno Clovis, you yeah. can use natural gas, which means you're not going to run out because you have the gas company gas, providing yeah, okay, it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, in our area, if you have a good tank with a, if you use the big, the largest generator, you know, you're going to, yeah. with a 250 gallon tank, you'll uh-huh. have about a five day supply or so. so and you know what? When I first heard about power outages up, up in the hills, you know, mm-hmm. five days power. No, nah, it's not good. Yeah, <laughs> right. it is. Yeah. No fooling. Exactly. You know, all that stuff in the freezer last go around. Well, yeah. go around before this one. It's gone. Refrigerator. Yeah. yeah. What we didn't eat. Gone. Yep. You know. And that's why a lot of a lot of uh supermarkets and grocery stores are taking an interest too. Oh yeah. Because when that happens they, they have a large loss. And and you know, I can I can vouch for mm-hmm. that. Um one of the markets up there they lost their yep. entire refrigeration freezer section of food. It just was gone. Exactly. I think, I think the Rayleigh's up in Oakhurst mm-hmm. lost and maybe Vaughn's. But I know they're going to generators now. So yeah. Yep. But yeah. And that's tough. Mm-hmm. You think about the cost that, well, you know, it's going to be kind of expensive, but wait a second. In the long run, you know, I don't know about you, but I got a pretty good sized freezer. Mm-hmm. And it's not empty. You know? mm-hmm. um, yeah. That's a substantial it's a waste. lot of waste. If you don't, if you don't prep in advance for mm-hmm. these kind of things, you know, it's like yeah. a big payment all at once. Exactly. Yep. So better to, to you know, Order it, have it installed, and, and you have like financing programs for yeah. stuff like that too, right? Yeah, we, we do. We our financing partners that we have also will finance the Generacs. It's not just solar. Yeah, so they do the same companies will do right. Generac and Generac generators and and it, solar. Okay, for, and and solar is, is another <coughs> part of your business. <coughs> mm-hmm. um, but what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, just because you got solar panels on the roof. When PG&E cuts the power, mm-hmm. that doesn't mean you're still going to have power unless you've got something. It's called line current, I think, if I remember right. You got to have some source of energy, as in electrical, to, so those solar panels will work. Right, yeah, right. And that's I know you have battery programs. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, they got some new battery programs. Yeah. Now, so, so there's there's a couple things. Generac, Generac, the company that makes the generators. Yeah. Um, recently merged with a with a very successful inverter company that specializes in backup. 
Okay. And they now have their own system. They use lithium ion Panasonic batteries, so it's the same technology that Tesla they're, uses. Now they're, they're a little bit different than those uh, D and uh, C cell batteries we used to buy. Yeah, right? yeah. No, this lithium ion technology is awesome stuff. It's basically what you have in your cell phone. So you, yeah. So it char you can drain it really low without damaging the battery. Right. And the cycles make it so that you can get 20, 25 years out of it instead mm -hmm. of six to ten which yeah. is which is the other batteries but right. you know there are also there is there is, there are other options too even for people who have solar okay. that want to do battery backup we're now finding a lot of customers that are in this situation where they already have solar and they want battery backup uh -huh. and there's great companies that make really good inverters that do what's called ac coupling where they actually take your your solar and they have that they have the ability when the power goes out to create their own sine wave and turn on your solar system so that the solar can actually generate and feed through and charge the batteries and you have battery backup. So you can retrofit now. No, and you know that's I'm sitting here kind of speechless and stuff. No, the you know the Tom the technology that is more recent, newer mm -hmm. uh, in in this field of providing you know power to a home and that essentially is what we're talking mm -hmm. about. Is it's amazing, mm -hmm. you know, um, it's and it's awesome, and you guys are you know kind of like right up there at the cutting edge. Yeah, yeah. when when we we signed up for the Generac class, the first one that was available in California, right, and that was last October, uh -huh. and um, in San Diego, and that was a really exciting course, and right. they were introducing all the products, and I've been following this inverter company for a long time, so I already knew. When the merger happened, it was very exciting for me. For people who were following the technology, it was exciting. Because yeah. this new Generac system can actually hold, it's basically two of the traditional Teslas or the LG Chem. Uh -huh. It's like having two of them instead of one. So it's a 20, basically, instead of a 10 kilowatt system, which is cool. Now, I'm going to throw something out kind of out of left field. Um, there has been rumblings, and I know you're aware of them, that, that PG&E may be consumed by the bureaucracy of the mm -hmm. state and stuff and that just thrills my heart because they're always so much more efficient <laughs> in what they do and and so mm -hmm. their increased in efficiency means that cost to the consumer goes down no that's not what generally happens cost mm -hmm. goes up right so for people that that have solar in their home okay mm -hmm. and and then the, they've got you know some of these newer types of, of backup and stuff um, like I said, it's kind of out there, but you may have had this this question before. What about going off grid, basically? Mm -hmm. You know, is that how? If if I've got the battery backup, I've got you know the generator, right. um, and I okay, PG&E right now they prov provide a, a a sine wave or you know minimal mm -hmm. you know power, um, but could I possibly cut that off and go full off grid, or are there some impediments to that? You can. Um, I don't think it's necessary because if you can produce enough power to zero out your bill and you have battery backup, the grid is a nice third option to help mm -hmm. in the case where you don't have the sun to charge your batteries or to mm -hmm. run your home. You can actually design your system where you're using the grid as the least important, the last resort for mm -hmm. your power. Right. But it's not impossible to go off grid. We have customers who have built their house from scratch and we're putting them 100% off grid from the very beginning, mm -hmm. right when they build their house. So to live off grid is not impossible. That's actually how I got in the industry 10 years ago. I bought property and went off grid. Oh, okay. So I'm very familiar with off grid living. Yeah. It's not impossible at all, but um, if you have access to the grid, it's not necessary. You can beef up your solar system so you have enough power. You right. can beef up your batteries so you have enough batteries. And then the grid can kind of be a uh, third option. If you needed it, your system can recognize and use it to charge the batteries okay. or use it. So it's, it, it, it could be like a, a, a third option. It's a complement to your system. The grid's a complement to your system. So even if you're living in a situation where you, could cons you can kind of consider yourself off-grid because you're zeroing out your bill. Right. And... But it's nice to, if you, if you have the option to be connected and you're already connected, you might as well stay connected, mm -hmm. you know, because you always have that, that source if you needed it. Well, it's either go off grid or move to Idaho. Yeah. No, but, you know, I mean, there's, there's some people with the talk of the state 
you know, taking over PG&E, they yeah. go, well, maybe I don't want to be connected. I mean, these yeah. systems are so advanced now mm -hmm. that if you had, if you designed it correctly, you really should be able to shut off your main breaker and be off grid. Mm -hmm. Now, whether there's any legal building codes and things like that, that might be another story, but yeah. technically speaking, you could live off grid like that. Okay. The thing is, you really wouldn't need to or even want to because there's no danger in having it connected to the grid to use that as a source. Yeah. But if you start from scratch, like some of our customers starting from absolute scratch, building mm -hmm. their house from the ground up, then you can make those kind of choices and you actually can go off grid. You can get it permitted, you can get it approved. Everything's mm -hmm. perfectly legal and good and safe with it. Okay. You know, you, cause some people think you can't do that. They think yeah, it, it's that's kind of why I was asking that yeah. question. You know, it's, I know that's probably a small compliment of your business, but you know, that question is kind of out there in mm -hmm. the electric sphere, so to speak. Yeah. So, okay, we got, we got new stuff from, in, uh, from Generac, uh, the generators, you know, in, you know, PG&E is, they, if no, no joke, mm -hmm. they are cutting power, and they're not doing it for six hours. You know, you, you dial them up, and they say, "Well, we're going to have you." No, there is no. Your power will not be. We yeah. don't know. You know, and you're out there, and I can say that because I live at a higher elevation in an mm -hmm. area that's r very rural. But having said that, it's also affecting down in the cities. Right. And and that's what you know. And you're watching and say, well, it'll never be a problem for me. I live down, you know. But there have been, and there, you mm -hmm. know, there may, may be more to come. Yeah. And so it's not a bad idea to be prepared. Yeah. I mean, and this, this has nothing to do necessarily with the, the side benefit of reducing or eliminating your electric bill, which mm -hmm. is a nice plus, too. Mm -hmm. But just being prepared for that power outage. Yeah. You know. You know, maybe yeah. you don't want to have your alarm go off so you can get up in time to go to work and and not have your boss complain about it. But you know, there are there are people that they have that level of responsibility. Mm -hmm. They want to, you know, they want to. Yeah. You know, they don't want their food to go bad. They want you know want to have their families maintain a normal lifestyle mm -hmm. in the middle of the chaos. And for some, this last year, there's been chaos. Yeah. You know. So what you're doing is awesome, man. Yeah. I think it's great. Anything else new and exciting coming up? Well, I mean, that was, that was really what I wanted to touch on was retrofitting yeah. existing solar with battery uh -huh. backup is great. And then also the new Generac coming out with more storage and everything. But we still do, um, of course, full electrical ser uh, services, Right. Uh, even small jobs. We also do full house wires and, and rewires and things like that. But, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of generators and uh, battery backups, has always, that's always been part of our business, but it's becoming more and more with PG&E. All right, Tom, here's another, and this kind of, again, out of left field, so to speak. But have an older home, okay? Uh -huh. And, you know, those circuit breakers, well, heaven forbid we have fuses, but, uh -huh. you know, circuit breakers with time, heat, and age, they, mm -hmm. you know, and they got to be replaced. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, I can just, you know, <laughs> go down to the local store and get, and a lot of them you can't just go down to the local store and get. Right, okay? right. Now, do you, does your business do, like, you know, panel, total panel oh, replacement yeah. types of, mm -hmm. you do that. Okay. Yeah, total panel change outs. And yeah. You know, there's a, we go to specialty stores when we have breakers like that. Yeah. The older breakers, you yeah. can't get them at Home Depot, yeah. a lot of them. You, yeah. You and know, the older they are, the more expensive they are. <laughs> I've heard that rumor too, too. very harshly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. so yeah, so so it is good to, to make sure your breakers are in good health and your panel is changed out. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if it's an older panel, mm -hmm. You know, those those can get dangerous. Some of these, you touch and, the breaker, and, you can hear a little sizzling. That's and, not good. And, and you <laughs> and you said something very significant. A lot of people don't think about. They can be very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're yeah. not supposed. You're really not supposed to touch your panel yeah. unless you're an electrician, mm -hmm. a licensed electrician. Tell that to my there. wife. Which is, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, no old panels. Yeah, a lot of problems. You know, with with uh, from heat. You know, cold mm -hmm. heat. You know, affecting the the breakers and stuff. If you're not, you know, if you don't have an electrical understanding and background, keep your fingers out of yeah, them. Yeah, um, exactly. You know, yeah. you don't, you don't want to have the fire department come out and uh, say, well, you know, we got to call PG and E and get the power turned off before we can fight the fire in your house. Exactly. Yeah. And, they, and that happens. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Okay. So, so one more thing I will mention: the federal tax credit is ex uh, slowly expiring. Went from thirty percent to 26%. Mm -hmm. So if we are talking about um, PG&E possibly going up more than yep. what's already expected, it's already expected to go up so much every year, but mm -hmm. if, it, if it does make some major jumps, 
Solar is a way to hedge that inflation, yeah. is to get that, stop that inflation completely and go on a, even, even if you have to finance, you can at least go on a payment plan that's lower than your existing bill. Yeah. And then you stop that inflation, you stop that, right. that going up. And, and panels, what, what panels do you use? We like to use LG panels. LG is a very good, yeah, um, good the highest yeah. quality, yeah. yeah. So I always start, honestly, with my, with my customers, I always start with the LG panels. And if we're looking for, for um, some less expensive options, there are still good panels out there. Doesn't mean they're bad panels, they're just not, they don't have the specs that the LG has. Right. They're not gonna, the LGs after 25 years are gonna produce more than the other panels. Right. They, they have a longevity that's longer and they're built, so yeah, they have yeah. some benefits, you know? Yeah, you might wanna, you know, if, you know, if you're considering living in your house for more than 20 <laughs> yeah. years, you, you might wanna consider it. All yeah. right, yeah. anything else you wanna say before we go, Tom? Ah, uh, no, I think that's about it. No, wait a sec, there is something you want to say. Yeah. How do we get a hold of you? Okay, you can, you can, call, um, you can call our office, and you can also uh, go oh, online. Call your office, what's the number? It is right on the screen there, 961-9793. There you go. Okay. 559 area code. And you got a, you got a web page? The website is spragoelectric.com. Sprago is my last name. It's a little hard to pronounce and to uh, spell. But it's S B R E G A. S B R E G A. See, I, I real easy. Cause I'm <laughs> yeah. there, so I'm sure. yeah. No, that's good. Uh, and so you got web page, you got Facebook. Oh yeah, we got Facebook, know. Instagram, oh. all of those things. Yeah. Um, if you look us up online, you can find a, a number of platforms. Whether it's Home Depot, Home Advisor, all of those platforms, we have a lot of reviews, a lot of testimonies, and stuff like that. And they're good. So, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, all five star. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for being with okay. us. Okay. All right, Tom. Thank you. Listen. You know, electricity <laughs> at one time was just something you left to the, you know, it, it happened. In today's world, nah, not so much. You may want to consider, you know, getting some backup, getting some insurance. And I'm not talking about, you know, like the Hartford kind. I'm talking about mm -hmm. having something real in your home because today it's a real thing. Power goes. And when it goes, it can be a while. So consider it. Spray Electric. And I'll see you when we come back.